Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss in brief about the HPLC. HPLC stands for High Performance Liquid Chromatography. It is also known as High Pressure Liquid Chromatography, which is an advancement of column chromatography. That means HPLC is also used for the separation of components of a sample. And the advantage of HPLC over column chromatography is that here HPLC provides high efficiency and better resolution for the separation of the components from the sample. Coming to the principle involved in HPLC, generally it consists of a column containing a stationary phase. Initially, the mobile phase is continuously injected into the stationary phase. At this moment, the liquid sample is injected into the column. So, when it enters into the column, then depending upon the difference in the affinities of the components, the separation takes place. So, whenever mobile phase is continuously injected into the column, because these components are having difference in flow rates. So, the component with high flow rate will be eluted first from the column followed by the component with low flow rate. So, here always the mobile phase is injected under pressure and hence the separation is better and also efficient. Hence, HPLC is used for the separation of components of a sample with better resolution and high efficiency. HPLC instrumentation consists of six components namely solvent delivery system, second one is pump, third one is injector, fourth one is column, fifth one is detector and the sixth one is recorder. Initially, the mobile phase is injected into the column with the help of a pump which is maintained always at a high pressure for the better resolution. And coming to the injecting portal, here the sample is present and always the sample is injected into the column with the help of injecting portal. And coming to the column, here it is highly useful for the separation of components of the sample since different components will have different flow rates under the influence of both mobile phase and the stationary phase. So, the complete separation takes place in the column and with the help of a detector, it is possible to detect the flow rates and also separation of the components of a sample and automatically a system will be connected to the detector and hence we will get the corresponding spectrum. In this way, it is possible to separate the components of a sample with high resolution and better efficiency. HPLC is highly useful for the separation of non-volatile substances since here the mobile phase is used under high pressure and hence it is possible for the separation of non-volatile substances like ionic and polymer samples. At the same time, HPLC can be used in various fields like pharmaceutical field, food industry, biochemical industry and pesticide industry. At the same time, HPLC finds immense applications in forensic chemistry department. At the same time, this HPLC is highly used for clinical and environmental studies. If you want to learn chemistry in a simple manner, you have to subscribe Learner's Choice at the rate of AL Madam. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.